learn how you can take a boring Google Slideshow and turn it into a fun, fantastic, interactive Google Slideshow. And I'm just going to show you this example real quick here, Exploring the USA. It says click on a state to learn more and then click on the home to return back to the slide. Let's say I want to learn more about Wyoming. Oh my, Wyoming. I can see some pictures here and some different things to visit. Uh, let's go explore some more. So this is just showing you how you can take um, something normal and actually make it interactive. And let me just show that a little bit more to you behind the scenes. <clears throat> so when I exit the presentation, what I've done is I've made a home slide and basically I made a home button here where, um, and I put this under, under the master slide. Master slide controls what uh, templates are on all the slides. And under here, I made the home button and I made it link back to slide one. And I'll explain linking in just a little bit. So let's go back here. And under over the state of Wyoming, I actually made a new shape. And I created it with a tool called the polyline. And once I created the shape, I did a link. And I will walk you through this in just a moment. Um, let's make the state of North Dakota linkable. So up here under the, uh, let's see, polyline, um, I'm going to make a polyline right here. And I picked this state because it's fairly easy. I just need to make sure that I close it off. So you have a beginning part and an end part, and it finishes. So there you go. You see that I made the state of uh, North Dakota. And it's not clear, though. So what I need to do is go up to the fill bucket and select transparent, and then go to the line and select transparent as well. And now you don't even see that I linked the state of North Dakota. When I click on it, I can see that I have that shape there. And I'm going to select the insert link. And I'm going to select a slide in this presentation and go to slide three. So when somebody links on that, it will go to slide three. And then this is where you could assign like a student or a group of students this portion, and they would need to go in and work on it. Um, so it's great because it shares a responsibility, but then it keeps that interactivity so that students could have some choice when navigating through here. Um, I went ahead and I made kind of my own template. Like I went ahead and I made a um, template for an image because it can be a little bit difficult. Basically, if you right click and select replace image, um, you can search the web for some images here. And like North Dakota, um, I could find a nice map of it. Although I think I would like to see more of the scenery. I'm imagining a lot of cornfields and stuff like that. Um, big sky, that sounds about right. And then I can go ahead and replace that right there. And so very easy. So hopefully this gives you some ideas um, on how to make your Google Slideshows more interactive. If you have any questions, just let me know because um, I'd love to help you bring these alive. Have a great day.